How's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we had a bit... Valdi, why are you staring me in my face? You know what? I'm gonna walk and talk because that was just rude and creepy. But yeah, last episode we had of a... It was a sliding down. bit of a special episode as we went back and completed a side quest that... What's inside? We should have finished a while ago. And honestly, I kind of forgot about it, but you know, it is what it is. It happens sometimes. If you didn't see it, go ahead and go back, check it out, because I wanna see. that was a bit of an important episode. Well, important side quest that I ended up skipping. But we're back to what we were doing before. I have no idea how close to Sword March we actually are, but hopefully today we inch that much closer. Somebody still climbing that ladder? Man, Lance's footsteps are still so heavy. I would fight them, but I'm not really in the mood for that. Oh, we do cross this. Huh. We're sliding down. Ah. Woohoo! This gets the blood pumping, eh? We've so got to do that again. Don't worry, Senna, we will. Check out what it bombed. Where do you think it connects to? Ooh. Ooh, I'm curious. I'm sorry, but my curiosity is getting the best of me. Like, we really, really don't need to be going up here, but... Oh. Oh, yeah. Let, um, yeah, Valdi, you tried to get us killed. They are twice our level. We are not ready for that. What just happened? Not to worry. Just stick to the plan. Oh, right now, the plan is to get to Sword March. Oh, shit. Uh. What the snuff? Where'd this come from? Careful. Here it comes. That's just random. Get away. Hey, hey. Give it up. I'll 
I was about to say, when are you going to pick me up or no? Okay, so this battle was meant to be that tough? Because this that felt... It, it disappeared? What just happened? It's likely we're being pursued. But I've never seen an 11 that's like that. Could it be a new model? I don't think we'll get very far just theorizing about it. Let's hurry on ahead. Fair enough. But we should stay on our toes until we at least leave the woodland. I reversed that. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Kevez and Agnes are both fully mobilized. We'll have to pick them off one at a time. Better give it a good once over. What? Mate, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that that particular fight was meant to be extra hard. You can but never go wrong with Samita. That that felt a lot harder than it needed to be. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. More enemies. I'll keep them occupied. And I'm not entirely sold on this new class that I'm using with Noah just yet. It seems alright, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not using it properly. Oh, another camp. Everyone is emergency. What's up, Manana? Manana cannot. Manana cannot go on like this. One extra step. We have been walking since Colony Tile. I suppose if we could find a good place, we'll set up camp. Meh. Clan need more dinner. You can be strong a little longer, can't you? Huh? Just a little. Fine. But Nana, but Manana, very, very starving today. We need to make dinner soon, and everyone must help cook. Sure, we'll all be happy to chip in, right, guys? Oh, adorable little Bring Manana. Little. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Okay, so. Time out. We'll head out in a bit. Na, na, na. <laughs> Gosh! Food is entirely missing! Manana not even gets single fill of stomach yet! I just saw you stuffing your cheeks. The rations should have been divided equally. Manana walked more than you used to today. <laughs> Tommy was rumbly grumbly. Not much we can do, though. Not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go. So you're gonna have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? Man. Aww. Poor baby. Wait. Everybody's gonna go to sleep. Nobody's gonna keep watch. You guys are so brave. After what happened earlier in the day, I can't believe you guys. Oh no. I do not like fighting those. What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. What? No way. For real.
French sure did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nuh uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed. I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Ah, oh, no way. plate unpolished that awful false accusation not even Manana ever stooped to such crude vulgar behavior all right all right we get it just chill out already Manana refused to become frosty this now matter of honor and dignity for starters I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish but she can't have eaten up the lot so who then Hey, check it. Manana, do not. A feather? Manana? But what, what kind? We can imply I found tracks here. Oh. Nobody's blaming you here. These footprints. Uh -oh. I think they're turkey. That they looked a little weird. Result, then. A turkey feather. So, they raided our supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honor and dignity of Manana left in tatters for a vile and faceless accusation. Come on, please, lighten up already. All accusations aside, we're really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. I can go. Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard-pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. Okay. Anyway, that clearly too much eat. Manana is bottomless pit. Mehme? What? Well, how Riku know Manana is dainty eater? Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day of days, Manana will have retribution! <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a runner. Slipped out from the castle. Is this okay? He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does make contact, they'll come. Wait. <laughs> really? What did they do with Ethel? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, we can probably take your word. Right, O? Hmm, certainly. As you say, P, we probably can take his word. What did you do with Ethel? Since we're already out here gathering food, we can think about building up the reserve of our stuff for a while. That's a good idea. What would that be? Mushrooms, nuts, that sort of thing? I'm on it. By the way, when the Turkins got into our camp, did no one seriously notice? Nope, not even slightly. Not even a teeny little bit. Riku was very sawing logs last night. I'm sorry, you guys. When you'd walked a lot yesterday, I'm sure you were just super pooped. You'd never miss something as obvious as Turk and footsteps on a good day, Mimi. I think it's safe to say we were all partially guilty of negligence this time. Indeed. However, we should also reconsider our strange arrangements for the future our storage arrangements for the future. Oh well, it's water under the bridge now. No point in take talking locks at the Let's just get to the searching already. Very well. Hey, is that an andlude? So I have to fill up my mushrooms alone. I say we hunt some meat as well. Ooh, I love me some hunting and gathering. Amazing. Guess we know what's on the menu today then. I want to know what happened with Ethel. 
Much relief. Glad Riku had just power frame last night. Should perform 30% better than leading brand. What's she on about, leading brand? I get that we're weaker than Agniant, so we need this to get on more of an even footing in combat, but... Friends say but. Why but? We just need oomph, you know? Like, kapow! Sort of thing. Sound effects not help comprehension. Oh, you know, like that doodad Noah has. Doodad? Ujima Flip. You know what I mean. Don't make me say it. You talking what about you Lucky Seven? Want to use for? Uh, well, I. Not on your end by any chance. I... If so, Riku have to pass. Oh, come on. So Riku gets right. <sighs> Backing up. This plan of Lance, no a privy to it? <sighs> Obviously Make a decision not. without consult allies? Bad form. But he's our enemy. And who decide that? You're never say himself? That he enemy? He didn't. I did. In absence of complete picture? Well, but he's different. So after me just once, Lance make up mind? <sighs> then... What are we gonna do? Only thing friends can. Keep moving forward. How's that gonna solve anything? Should never have asked. Also, do that, not that kind of thing. Uh... Hey, should we go check out the other side too? We still need a whole bunch more foodstuffs and all anyway. What you doing back here? Would you mind? Leave it to me. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? I feel like I just heard something like growling or something. Hey, look, that's a really odd looking tree. Don't trust it. Nah. That's a unique enemy. Bright fig? What's a bright fig when it's at home? Let me guess. They're stupidly delish. Oh, guaranteed! Deliciousness is such that friends will be picking up jaws from ground for weeks! Uh-oh. What's up? Are they rotten or something? Tragedy strike! These not ripe for plucking yet, let alone eating! If eat now, bitter flavor cause agonizing death! Huh? I don't know. They look tasty enough to me. Bright fig not good for eating even after full yellow. Still have to wait another year before able to enjoy. That's too long. Man, so much for that. Never mind. You can always come back next year. It's legendary, right? You wouldn't want to miss out. Guess we'll have to. Oh. Uh, me, a year from now? Mm. Even if I might not get to do it. You guys can still have a taste. Why wouldn't you... Whoa. Love, 
You've got to stop being so detached about it. You'll just get everyone feeling guilty. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. Don't mind me, she says. Of course we're gonna mind you, doll. That's rough. Hey, how can you be so casual about it? What do you mean, casual? I assure you, I'm not. I'm actually pretty flustered. You defo don't look it. If it looks that way to you, well, that's because I shouldn't even be here. What do you mean? This life's a gift from a dear friend. It should have been me. I should have died out there that day. So this isn't really me. I'm just living on her time. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Dang. This story is just really sad and depressing. Somehow, that reminds me of us. I know. When we're interlinked, I can see a glimpse. Inferno. Destruction. Land screaming. Noah's memories. What if... Bear with me. That friend of yours, she showed up like Joran. As an enemy? as an enemy. I suppose I'd want to know same as Lance. Simply why? Gotcha. I figured. Mm. Why is it that you gave your life for mine? Why? You could have lived longer yourself, me Abby. Why did you do it? So her name was me Abby. Sorry. Guess it's a sensitive subject. It's funny. I thought I had it all locked down. Thank you. Whatever a reason, I'd accept it. Facts. Whatever the truth may be. And that's it. No looking back. While my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards, can I now? Your partner's now, eh? <laughs> I suppose you are at that. Hmm? I wonder, how does he see things? I bet we'll find some more food over that way. Uh, okay, Noel. Should we go and have a look? You seem very eager. Ooh, oh, they found us. All right. Oh, oh, does that mean that I can? Couple won't stop arguing.
Hmm. What's this? We ate those yesterday, didn't we? Must be lots of them inside these woods. Seems so. Well, that explains it. What explains what? At first glance, it looks like a kelp mushroom. But in fact, it's what's called a naughty nut. Causing a what? Hmm? Uh, so you're saying we ate those and that's why we all slept. Clean through the turkey and stealing our food. That's my working hypothesis anyway. I'll go and warn Mio and the others. Meh meh. It was Banana who put in the dish. Should have known better. We all picked the ingredients together, so it's not like it's you that was at. But then Manana blow up on lands and say many lots means of things. Very deeply sorries. Hey, it's all in the past. More importantly, all this trudging around foraging has given me a wicked appetite. We've got enough now. Surely let's go back to camp and make it into something edible. Yeah. But Nana agree also. We've rounded up plenty of ingredients. Looks tasty. This amount should keep us going for a while. Guys, get ready to fight. All I know is that we better not accidentally run into that Levinus again. Oh yeah, I sent you off already. All right then. That should be us good for food now. Yeah. Looks like that'll last us a little while. <gasps> What's wrong, Mia? <gasps> Who's there? Come out! Huh? Boliaris! What? Yeah, much better. I owe you. What are you doing over this way? I thought you were going to the castle. Yeah. No, I went. And this is what I got for my trouble. So, tell us, what happened? Oh boy. Is this why we weren't allowed to have Ethel in our party? Why, Your Majesty? Why would you attack Colony 4? You came into contact with Ouroboros, did you not? <gasps> I'd call it burning out the contagion. C contagion You're implying we've been contaminated? Have you not? You've been removed from the protection of the flame clocks. You no longer need to wager your lives in battle. Who struggles not in life deserves not to live. That is the compact of our nation, and moreover, the truth. Majesty, my queen. Yet, to punish you all for fate's machinations would be a misstep. Therefore, I shall grant you a chance. What must I do? Eliminate Ouroboros. <gasps> you want me to... Noah, and the rest. 
Naturally, I am cognizant of the fact that the enemy is wily and capable. I have no intention of sending you alone. <gasps> Kamaravi! What? Why, why are you here? Ethel. H how? Wait, but you're not even on the same side. Entertainment. Pardon? Those who have been released from the Flame Clock Sacred Indenture cannot be affected by the Mobius Iris. To bring you back under control, I would have to force your rebirth. But that wouldn't be nearly as fun. The power you two wield surpasses even some of our consoles. I have great hopes for you. Ethel, Kamaravi. Oh man, that means the hardest fight is coming up. We're gonna have to fight Ethel and Kamaravi. But Ethel's an owl. I, oh my goodness, this is just getting so complicated. They gave Ethel and Kamaravi new Phronesis. They've been made specifically to kill Ouroboros. The tune-up might take a little while. Though, you don't have much time. The two of them are after your heads. You're sure of this? Really? That's why I came here. To give you warning. They already know your rough position. That's how I found you in the first place. What's this? Plans of the castle. They were tuning up my Pharonis when I happened upon them. They include schematics for the Annihilator. Take them and go back to Colony 4. Commander, you mean? If they can find us wherever we are, I want to at least secure a way for us to put up a fight. Am I wrong? <laughs> but, Mom, we can't very well. Also, about Noah's group. If you happen across them, tell them this. I will use lethal force, yes? What? Furthermore, tell them I wish them all the best of luck. I hope they reach their goal. Commander? Gonna have to kill Ethel. Damn. Oh, Ethel. She sounds serious. And still telling us to just keep going? Well, that's Ethel for you. Hard headed as they come. Won't she get into trouble because of you slipping out? Hardly. I'm just one missing foot soldier. No one's gonna pay it any mind. Huh? But your wounds earlier. Uh, truth is, air from falling off a cliff on the way here. It was dark as snuff. <laughs> Are you tucking my wings? Well, anyhow, it's nothing for you lot to fret over. This is our problem now. You focus on achieving your objective. We appreciate it. Ah, but man, you know, why's the commander got to duke out with you lot, eh? And why was our foe Kamaravi there, the Ashbar? Feels like the whole world's turned on its head. Alrighty, I'm heading back. 
Got it? You lot scoot on along out of these parts. There's still some time before they're done tweaking. And with you on foot... We're not running away. Not after all this. Huh? I'm staying too. What? Really? That light we saw... a while back... If that... if that had come from the Annihilator... Even if we were to somehow reach our destination... If it was at the cost of all your lives, it wouldn't be worth it. <sighs> Surviving like that, I couldn't bear it. Mimi. Mia. Boliaris. The castle plans. Can you share them? Noah, you're not... you wouldn't. The fact remains, it was us that destroyed your clock. Therefore... Yes, but that's... Either way... I think it's clear at least part of the blame lies with us. It's only fair, then, that we destroy this Annihilator. Agreed? You for real? I'd be up for a little detour. Same here. You did offer us shelter. That creates an obligation. No way around. Someone here needs to keep friends in line. Count Riku in. If plan on fighting, we'll need first-rate chef, too. Oh. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards, can I now? Oh, fine. Go on, then. You wouldn't make it far inside the castle without a proper healer anyway. Uni. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll head back to Colony 4, in case the shit hits the fan. Good luck, then, to all of you. Yeah. We'll be all right. Remember, we're up against the castle. Get too close, and we may come under fire. What's our plan? I think we'll be able to manage, as long as we're careful. to think of it, you used to go to the castle for Offseer training once a year, right, no? The Black Fog. Is there much there? There's actually quite a bit. Around this time, the whole area is shrouded in it. They couldn't find us in that cave in Neil Valley, right? And you think we can repeat that? Maybe. Using the fog to approach is clever, but risky. What if an annihilation event occurs? You know... I hadn't really given it much thought up until you mentioned it. But, oddly, it hasn't been happening. Seriously? I'm not sure why. Behind the castle, there's an ether deposit being mined, in an area facing a lake. The ether being obtained there is then delivered into the castle through a freight entrance. So that's where we'll get our sneak on. There won't be anyone in the containers. If we can just get to them, without being spotted... Then we can get into the castle. Okay, let's assume we do give the guards the slip. What do we do once we're inside the place? Tyon, the sensors. What was the Colony 4 soldiers' search radius, with the fog out? Their scanning range... I'd put in the ballpark of 15 metric. Look here. In the reserve area, there's a maintenance hatch that leads directly to the outer wall. If we make it through here and get to the main housing, it'll land us in front of the Annihilator. Less chance of being spotted by troops outside, too. We can do this. There's one concern. The castle is the Queen's residence. What if we're found by the consuls? 
Then I guess we'll have a fight on our hands. But it's not like we don't have a retreat. Here. In Kevez, after a homecoming, they wash away the belongings of the dead as part of a ritual. It's an understated affair. And the channel they use for it is here. It flows straight out, connecting to the lake outside the castle. I see. So we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. More snuffy in water. Every time we run, why do we always end up getting drenched? I mean, feathers are a bitch to dry. Every time being our grand total of once. Well, let's just hope we don't have to fight. That's the ideal case. That's it, then. Mm. Ready whatever supplies you need. Then we can go. Obviously, we're going to end up fighting. So, let's go ahead and prepare for that, shall we? I'll see you guys tomorrow.